welcome to Wildlife Experts with me, Michael Watts. Today we're going to be in the North American home, and we'll be seeking out the Smiling Rat. The Smiling Rat is roughly five inches long and can weigh up to two pounds. The Smiling Rat, although it seems to have a very inviting allure, it is actually very venomous and you don't want to get too close. So let's start out on our journey. We'll be leaving from one part of the house where my team has left me. I'll be traveling alone with only my video camera and five seconds worth of supplies. I'll give you a bit of a look around. As you can see, there's a bit of a bedroom over there, a staircase over there. They love living near the bedrooms. As you can see, the bedroom is not made up. This might be a perfect spot for finding a smiling rat. First we check under the beds, because that's where the warmest spot in the house is. Apparently there's nothing there. The second favorite thing is they love admiring themselves in the mirror, because they're perfect teeth. Ow. Be quiet. I think I've spotted one. Zoom in on it here so you can see it smile. Oh yes. That's definitely a smiling rat. As you can see, it's got a very inviting allure with its smile. It looks rather happy and inviting. Let's get a little bit closer. Remember, you don't want to touch one of these. They're not as friendly as cats. As you can see, its teeth are there, ready to chomp down on you, and it is extremely venomous. As you can see, it looks just like a regular rat, except for his abnormally large smile. Normal rats don't have a smile as big as this, but this rat, its smile is humongous. That's why we're not getting too close to it. We don't like getting eaten now, do we? The smiling rat lives mostly off of water and dead human. It loves feasting on the flesh and blood of dead carcasses. It is its favorite meal. That's why we won't get too close, because I don't feel like losing my life today. But of course, like any animal, it's got to have at least one predator. Its only predator is the shark. Luckily, I've captured the shark, and no one will be getting eaten today. The venom does not harm these sharks, because these sharks decided back in the 1750s that they were going to be immune to poison. And that just about concludes today's Wildlife Experts show. If you want to learn more about strange species that live in households, contact me on Twitter, at One Mill Push Ups. Or, of course, you can subscribe to see my new videos that will be coming out on a regular basis.